Hey folks, hey Roland Martin here. Well listen, I'm uh, I'm out on the Headwaters Pond up around Vero Beach right now. And uh, today I wanted to show you two techniques that I think are just really rock solid. Probably my favorite technique in the springtime is throwing this hardtail rough. This is that 4.5 by Yamamoto. The other uh, choice I have is a swim jig. And it's, a, it's that's a swim bait. The 4.5 is a swim bait. This is a swim jig with a 3 eighths of an ounce head. So I'm gonna be throwing both of them on braid, heavy duty rods and reels, making long casts and trying to catch some big fish. Okay, let's get started. Just kind of come down this area right here. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of move along kind of slow. Just make long casts all the way. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna not only fish the shorelines, but I'm gonna also fish the open open flats as well. So I'll fish a little bit of everything. So I'll just uh, make a nice long cast right in here. Ooh. Now it's spawning season, but the problem with this lake is that you can't really see what's going on. You don't, you don't see the fish spawning because it's, it's number one, it's five or six feet deep and it's real dark water. So I'm not, I'm not really, really spotting any, any fish spawning, even though they are spawning somewhere. I just dropped the rod back down, kind of like I'm worm fishing, and uh, gave him a little slack, and boom, set the hook, and boy, he had it. That's a good one. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now that other one in that little pocket, I, I rolled another one out of there, so there's more than one fish around here. Uh, So what I did on him, I saw I saw him come the weight coming behind it. So what I did, I just slowed down. And what I did, that's what happened. Very big giant fish. <laughs> that's what we're talking about, folks. That's what we're talking about. That's a big one. I didn't get the strike, but I got it on camera anyhow. It was a really cool deal. I saw it, I saw it come up behind it and make a wake. And I got a scale here, and I'm gonna see how much it weighs just for the heck of it. Six pounds, two ounces. Oh well, not a big deal. He's nice, nice one, nice one, nice, nice little fat one. Drop him back in the water, yes sir. See, get some more fish here. I know a guy. Look at all these, look at all these hot tail gloves. These are seconds, and uh, what they do, they they kind of uh, at the plant in Page, Arizona, they uh, they have someone on the line. If there's any kind of bend to the to the lure, or maybe a discoloration of some sort, or some little imperfection, they'll pull it out and call it a second. And then they'll send it to the pro guys like myself. And, uh, okay, I'll screw that on. I'm using a screw lock hook. And what I do to get it on there, I'll put it on there. And I screw it in place. Just like that. Screw it in place. Okay. 
Now, that's a good deal. I'm using a 50, 50 pound braid, pretty heavy braid. Fighting that thing today, it's a, it's a really good kind of day. Again, it's a time of the year that they start to spawn, or at least move into spawn. I'm not seeing the beds. I'm just fishing maybe where they where they should be bedding. Anyway, they're biting pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna thread another one on. This screw lock hook is a kind of a neat deal. I really think it's the most efficient hook that I've uh, got. And what I do is I down I push the the uh, thing right into the screw lock real hard and twist it right there right in the center like that okay now I bury this where it just comes out the back a little bit okay then I have a 3 16 ounce weight. That's actually a slip weight. A 3 16 ounce slip weight. been a big one. And if I throw that worm in there, and I just had a good, some kind of a good strike, maybe, maybe this worm it up with the worm. That's a big deal. Yep. Back it up with the worm. This isn't a worm. It's close to close to being a worm. He thinks it's a worm. He thinks he's a worm. catching small fish and hardtail catching bigger ones. Hardtail grubs catching them. Quality fish too. I mean, not not little baby ones. At least they're keepers, you know. And they're the bigger they're bigger than the worm fish. So that's saying something. 
been saying something. So. Really healthy now, so look at that good one. Yeah, ah, threw it back in the. I saw that wake up. See that swim bait over there? And this big old bass, he ate that one. He ate that one. Look at this guy. That's what we're talking about. That was the backup on the swim bait. A real nice big bass. It's just as beautiful as can be. Beautiful as can be. Look at this guy. Another great big giant. Just as big as can be, son. Bigger than that. Bigger than that swim bait fish. But he, he made a swirl at the swim bait. That was what he did. Yeah, yeah, right there. Now we're talking. Great big bass. <laughs> Woo! So, but it was a kind of a combination deal. The only swim bait, and then, of course, uh, backing it up with a worm. I, I saw this fish kind of move, and uh, this was a big deal. So I'm going to weigh it. It says 6'4. Six, 6'4. Four, six, four. Okay, that's about the size of the other one. A little bit bigger. Anyway, anyway, folks, you can see that. Swim baiting is a really big deal. You know, I was backing it up with the worm like I did here, and I caught a, another big six pound bass. So you can see that the hardtail grub with the backup on a worm deal, or in this case, a D shad, hey, that's the way to catch some really beautiful bass. Hey, listen, folks. Hey, thanks for, thanks for watching this, YouTube. I, I have so much fun doing this. Hey, thanks for subscribing. We'll see you again soon. Ah, son.